Hello students, in today's class we learn how to draw isometric sketches of given shapes. Now what are what is meant by isometric sketches first of all? These are sketches which are an exact image in three dimensional but drawn on a two dimensional paper. For example, when we want to draw a cuboid, so we only have to visualize a cuboid when we draw when we draw on a plain paper. But when we will draw it on an isometric paper, the cuboid is more clearly visible so that we can we don't have to visualize it. We'll we'll be able to see all the faces of the cuboid. So for this we are using an isometric paper which is a special kind of a paper in which it is made up of little equilateral triangles consisting of small dots. So here is an isometric paper that we will be using to construct an isometric or to draw an isometric sketch and the main feature of the isometric sketch is that it keeps the original measurements intact. So we are now going to try and draw an isometric sketch of a cuboid with dimensions 4 by 3 by 3. That means we will be drawing a cuboid whose length is equal to 4 centimeters, breadth is equal to 3 centimeters and height is equal to 3 centimeters. So we will start our drawing by first drawing a rectangle of length 4 centimeters and breadth 3 centimeters. Now the centimeter here is just a unit. So we can simply take it as units instead. So when we are drawing, we are counting the distance between any two dots as one unit. So here's this here is the front face of the cuboid that we want to draw and the dimensions are 4 by 3 for this particular rectangle. Now in the next step, we are going to construct 4 parallel lines and such that we, we have the lines parallel from each of the corners of the rectangle. So from each corner of the rectangle when we extend parallel lines making sure that these parallel lines have length 3 units because that is the dimension as per the dimension. So what we are doing here is we are maintaining the length as 3 units because that will be the breadth of the cuboid. So these are 4 parallel lines here and at the end all we need to do is connect the matching corners with suitable line segments. So after connecting the matching corners of these suitable line segments what we have here is a cuboid of dimension 4 by 3 by 3. So this is the isometric sketch of the cuboid which looks like this on a plain paper. So in the next question here we have an oblique sketch of a cuboid and we have to draw an isometric sketch of this cuboid. Now if you look at the dimensions of this cuboid the height here is equal to 6 length and breadth are 3 and 3. So 3 by 3 by 6 is the dimension over here and if we note down the length, breadth and height, the length of this cuboid is equal to 3 units and breadth is equal to 3 units and height is equal to 6 units. Now in order to construct this, first we start a construction by drawing this on the isometric paper. We draw this rectangle over here with length 3 and the other face that is the, we can call it as the length and the breadth, length say 6 and the breadth here taken as 3. So since this is the face, we, we have used 6 and 3 which this here we took as the length and this here as the breadth. That's immaterial because in the end we need a cuboid of 3 by 3 by 6 dimensions. Now, once we have the rectangle, we will proceed as in the previous case. From these three corners over here, we draw parallel lines of length. This is the only unused unit of length 3 units. Now these are the parallel lines. After getting the parallel lines, all we need to do now is connect the matching corners. Now after connecting the matching corners, what we have here is a cuboid of dimension 3 by 3 by 6. So in this way, we can use an isometric paper to, to draw isometric sketches of various shapes. Now we can also visualize certain shapes. Now in why do we need to visualize?
Now the need to visualize arises because at times we come across shapes which are not completely visible on the paper. A part of it is hidden. So in those cases we need to visualize what is there in that part of the shape which is not completely seen. So here's a shape which in which if we see there's a part of it that's hidden to us. And if we are to count the number of cubes that that shape here has. Even though it's not visible, it's quite possible to count. We can do this by visualizing the shape. So here we have one, two and three cubes that are clearly visible. But the other cube that's partially visible, that's obviously the fourth cube. So the number of cubes in this figure is four. So this figure has got four cubes. Similarly, here's another shape. Now for this shape, if you would like to count the cubes, so here's one, two, three and four. Four are clearly visible, but then there's one, pa a part of another cube that's partially visible. So we can safely say that this shape here has got five cubes. Next, for this figure over here, if we would like to count the cubes in this, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 of the cubes are clearly visible and that small part that's hidden here, that's part of the 6th cube. So this shape over here has got 6 cubes in all. So in today's class, we learned how to draw isometric sketches using isometric paper and also how to visualize shapes when the complete shape is not visible.